Hey guys, we are at SB Engineering uh, to retune the NSX. Uh, Christian Wong is a good friend of mine and the tuner here at SB Engineering. So he is going through to retune the NSX. He tuned it the first time uh, right before Superlap, like super quick, basically did in a couple of hours, uh, in a few hours, and got it ready just to basically compete. And it actually was tuned really well, like it had no issues, but since we moved the turbo and changed so much, uh, we had to go through and retune everything. Uh, if you've never kind of like built a turbocharged car or a highly modified NA car, every time you make like even one small difference, like change the intake, change the exhaust, you have to retune it to make sure that it's safe on track. Like on a street car, it's not ideal to not you know, kind of get away with it. Uh, but on a track car where we're kind of pushing them and driving them hard, it's absolutely crucial. So we're here retuning everything. Uh, if you're not familiar with SP, they are a very, very, famous uh, tuning shop, one of the largest and oldest in uh, North America. They started out with a lot of super stuff and now they tune uh, and work on a lot of GT, GTRs. Uh, the fastest car I've ever been in was the uh, one day we came back from the track and pushed me to put some miles on a car and gave me a ride in a 1700 horsepower package uh, GTR, which was basically ruined me. Like nothing's been fast since, but that's the kind of cars that they built. Uh, everything from high horsepower, um, like SP 950s, because that car has 950 horsepower, uh, like straight line, fun cars, uh, more kind of like, you know, that car's on six over there, to time attack cars. So that's David Hagsma's uh, global time attack prepped R35 GTR, super fast car. He's won a ton of events, uh, like really killed in that thing. So they kind of do everything. And uh, we work on more than just GTRs. It's just, that's kind of their specialty. Uh, a few exotics, some other really cool things that we'll kind of see as we walk around the shop. But uh, I'm very fortunate to have them tuning my car, to have Christian tuning my car. It's, uh, I'm, I don't trust very many tuners. It's probably like the most important thing to engine health. Like once the engine is assembled correctly, the thing that keeps it alive is the tune. And I can probably count on my hand the people in Southern California that I would let tune my car. And Christian is highest on my list. Uh, so I'm really excited to get this thing going. And it's Monday now, we have VTEC up on Saturday. So do this and then pretty much just the final prep things and the car's good to go. So yeah, we'll take a look around the shop, see what happens with the tune and hopefully get everything sorted out. Uh, so the car is nice, reliable and safe.
the ball at the same time. Yeah, all, 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 all the problems last time, we're just like playing it safe. For those of you that don't know, because um, I really didn't talk much about it last year, but Christian and I struggled a lot with this car. Like, how many times did it come here? You think? Three or four. Yeah. Like yeah. We had drivetrain issues. We had engine issues. There was one time where we put on the dyno, and I think it lasted like six minutes. <laughs> <laughs> so we have what we call the six-minute engine, and then the car, the engine in the car now is a six-day engine. So we had an yeah. engine that lasted six minutes, and then Loy built us an engine in six days. And got it back into the car and made it like just in time for super lap like the reason why christian was talking about not having enough time to uh really go through the tune was because we put the engine in and kind of got everything finished the night before super lap yeah. like we literally i think what time did you finish at 4 a.m 5 a.m something like that yeah, was like, late. yeah like christian finished at 5 a.m none of us slept we loaded the car into the trailer and then drove straight to super lap uh it was incredibly exhausting and hectic like two months uh, christian was there for like pretty much all of it I think we went like two months essentially sleeping like six hours at best a night, <laughs> like much less. I didn't uh, feel that tired though. Yeah, I think, I think like, we just I got used like to it. I was like energetic because like there was something new and exciting yeah. to do. Like that night I stayed up to do the alignment. Like oh, I, wasn't even, yeah. I wasn't even tired. I was just like, yeah, I'm going to fucking do this alignment. That's like the yeah. car wouldn't have happened without Christian basically because like no, he said he aligned it. The, 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 I think right after the tune or right before? I don't Something know. like that. It was yeah. late and everyone was going to bed, and I decided I wanted to sleep in the garage. Yeah. <laughs> and then, oh, that's right. No, that was at Superlap. That was Saturday night of Superlap, or Thursday night since it wasn't the weekend then. But yeah, while everyone was basically sleeping, Christian aligned the car. And we worked nonstop Saturday to finish it. Got it done Saturday, and then uh, basically Christian strung it up Saturday night, and we did what we could. But pretty much endless issues. We had drivetrain issues. The engine came out of the car, I think, four times. We got pretty good at it. Though. Yeah, despite how <laughs> terrible it was to work on, we got pretty fast at And it went from like six hours, I think like four hours if we really rushed to get it out, and then another couple, or another like six to get it back in. Now it should be like a third of that time, but got it out a bunch of times. Then we got the trans out. We had like oh, yeah. every issue you could imagine. Um, there was All one the night. Things, just the little things leading yeah. up to Superlap. Like a, it overheated a bunch the first time like the six second engine or six minute engine we didn't know what the problem was because when we were just kind of like we were just running it through the dyno like yeah kind of like trying to get the base. cruising speed yeah. Yeah. yeah it like overheated within minutes yeah. so we thought it could be a cooling thing because kind of uncharted territories with this we pulled the thermostat out still overheated and then at that point i was kind of like uh we kind of agreed it was probably it was a, a, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah so we put on the dyno just did a pull and it was like a, a freight train like a steam train just like shooting steam straight out of the the expansion tank so at that point dropped the engine and no fault of the engine builder um it was it wasn't loy it was another engine builder but they the machine shop uh it had darn sleeves which i know where we first yeah, sleeves. sleeves yeah it dropped all four sleeves so that's why it had yeah and we did a leak down test and you could literally see the air coming out of the <laughs> expansion tank uh and then other than that we had a couple of drivetrain issues that we worked out and then we had issues with the intercooler system because of how far back the intercooler is. The intercooler's in the back of the car, the heat exchanger's in the front of the car. It wouldn't bleed, and we didn't know that it wasn't bled, or I didn't know. Um, so, because it seemed like it was flowing, just wasn't flowing enough, so we bled that. And that's why the temperatures being good today are like very reassuring, because that was kind of the biggest thing we battled with, was like constant air in the head and the system, and then constant air in the intercooler system. So that's pretty much all solved now, it seems like. Yeah, it seems like really good so far. Cool. That's like the first half an hour tuning, just staring at gauges to make sure <laughs> everything's good. Luckily the aim dash is like, tells you right away if something's wrong. Yeah, like so. the whole screen is like, and it lights <laughs> up. Yeah, it didn't set some of the parameters at first for like warning, so Christian's like, oh, there's something wrong. It's like, you're just going off like crazy. So I have to fix that before the weekend. But yeah, it's nice, like I think running oil pressure, oil temperature, coolant pressure, uh, obviously coolant temperature um ethanol temperature or fuel temperature ethanol content and like quite a few other sensors to give us as much information as possible and the k -Pro logs it and the dash just kind of shows it so very useful yeah. i need one for your pump i know <laughs> kind of like the old school stack or the og aim the og yeah, yeah. The they're very like kind of like the older mosaic yeah and like when you look in old like videos of like the NSX GT or the McLaren F1, they have that like yeah. cluster in there. It's yeah. very. Because it's not a, it's not a full color. It's yeah. just the <laughs> liquid crystal. Yeah, it's like LCD only. Yeah, it looks like a calculator. Yeah, I like that <laughs> calculated look. 
calculator cluster. Yeah. Casio. Yeah. <laughs> cool, so take a little break yeah. and gonna get back to tuning soon. Christian has literally been at it for about seven hours. It's 3 a.m. now. We started a little bit before eight. And uh, seems to have paid off though. The new manifold from Proto Machine made a huge difference in terms of like response and power. Uh, we picked up like 25 wheel horsepower at a lower boost level, like six, seven pounds lower. We also, uh, the mid-range was way more uh, like peak boost or peak torque was at like 4,500 instead of 5,000 and uh, overall was like a huge difference there. Uh, really gonna be happier. I owe a great deal of thanks to both Christian and Proto Machine. Uh, let's see, so Christian's pulling up the dyno sheet right now. Oh, holy crap, so we got up to 424? Uh, yeah. Damn, so I thought it was about Really? Cool, so I thought we only picked up about 20 wheel horsepower, but we obviously picked up quite a bit, and that's at a lower boost level. So uh, I couldn't be happier. Uh, a little tired, but uh, not as tired as that guy over there. <laughs> so once again, huge thank you to Christian and Proto Machine and SP Engineering for making this all happen. and. Uh, looks like everything's going according to plan. Everything ran really smooth today, so I think we'll make it to Vita Club uh, this weekend. So, yeah, we'll see you there and time to get a couple hours of rest before bed.